Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Well, one of the questions that I recently received, a very good question, what is the difference between 25,000 miles filter versus 15,000 miles filter as you can see on the screen? Are there any differences? Why is one rated for 25, other one rated for 15? As you can see on the box, you know what I mean? Let's take a look. 15,000, 25,000 miles, very interesting, you know, that's something I actually had this question myself, I asked one time and I got an answer and actually it does make sense. So, as you can see based on the box, I want, I want you guys to something else to, to notice. Uh, the, the naming of the filter, 25,000 filters have EAO and 15,000 filters EA. They start with EA15, I guess 15K. Just the difference between 25 and 15. So let's go back to this chart. Something interesting that they, the company post information. Uh, filter efficiency at 20 microns, you know what I mean? They have M Soil, Chevy, Chrysler, Ford, Honda, and Toyota. Toyota for some reason scores low. And, and it's just because of the filter design of their. Uh, cartridge style instead of canister style. That's why they get really bad results uh, in terms of efficiency at 20 microns. So, so what is the difference? Keep in mind that MSOL is the only company that offers 20 micron filters at 99% efficiency for full flow filters. Full flow. We're not talking about bypass filters here. Full flow. If anyone claims less than 20%, they are either uh, providing false information or full flow filter becomes not very effective because it falls into category of bypass filters. So most of the world, it's not being filtered and bypassed. So keep that in mind. 20 is microns is, is the industry standard for full flow filters. So let's say to take a look inside. Let's see, let's look at the media. So as you can see on the screen, I have 25,000 mile filter from a vehicle that was actually ran this filter for one year uh, in a vehicle, in a truck. There is a number, if anyone cares. And it's been sitting actually on my shelf, actually not in a shelf, in my shed for probably two years on the floor laying and I was kind of debating what to do with it. I knew I'm gonna find a use for it. So let's open up, I already cut it open and let's take a look at the filter. So this is a 25K filter media. Let's take a look. After one year of use, interesting, right? There is no damage. There is no signs of, of any damage or anything. Looks perfect. Now let's take a look at the filter uh, for 15K miles. What is the difference? So we have a filter that is ready for 15k thousand miles and as you can see both are used, there is numbers EA15k. So this filter was in use for one whole year, just recently. So it wasn't laying around in my shed or anything, uh, being exposed to moisture or anything like that. So, so these are the, the differences, as you can see. The media itself is the same. There is no difference in media. Media is, is efficiency is the same thing. Doesn't matter if it's a 25 or 15K thousand miles filter. The media is rated, uh, is 99% uh, efficient at 20 microns. But what difference makes them, what, why, why one can last 25, the other one only 15,000. It's the physical size. As you can see on the right, smaller filter, filters out about the same amount of oil versus the filter on the left. About the same amount, a little bit more on the left in the truck has more oil versus the car. But that's why it can last longer. It can last 25,000 miles because, because of the physical size of the filter. The bigger the filter, the longer it can last. Smaller filter, even let's say for example, you have two identical filters, but different amount of oil. Even if it's identical, the one that has more oil in, uh, in the engine 
will have shorter life because it has to pump that filter gets used more often because it has to clean more oil than the one that has less oil so these are the primary differences just a media size the filter size efficiency or the material they use is same there is no difference keep that in mind uh, keep also in mind the 25 filter 25k miles filter is only good with MSOIL signature series oil it can only be used for 25k miles highway driven so if you're doing towing or you're doing like an uber driver or delivery now your 25k mile filter is just as good as 15 because your oil is not limiting factor too because you can only run your oil for 15,000 miles so you can't just buy an MSOIL filter and use some other oil and expect same results no they go hand hand to hand it's a combination quality filter with a quality oil you can definitely use m soil filter with other brands but you're not gonna get 15,000 miles uh, oil change intervals because not many brands recommend that they say follow factory recommended even so they say 20 or 15k miles but in small fine print they say follow factory recommended change intervals if your car is under warranty so this is it you know what i mean this is what makes them difference is just the physical size uh physical size and the amount of oil they have to filter out that's pretty much determining factor they that's how they rate them uh which one gets 15 which one gets 25. if you can double the size of this filter you can get more life out of it you know what i mean but then you have other issues to deal that's why if you look at uh, bigger filters, how they design and how they're mounted, they're not mounted like all, like all other vehicles. They're mounted specifically because of their physical size and there are other limitations that make them to be mounted in one way. So I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with others. Thank you so much.